Okay, now you are almost ready. So you were crocheting as the last uh, row over the packing cord and you were crocheting on the back loop, uh, inserted the hook in the back loop. And then we are ready to crochet our leaf uh, petals. So I will still have a few uh, stitches to crochet around and uh, you can crochet with me if you're still crocheting. Uh, I forgot to tell you that every time you crochet over the packing cord, um, if you crochet four, six stitches, stop for a moment and adjust a uh, packing cord that you will not see it over there on the back because it's always coming out for some reason. So let's continue the uh, last round road and uh, we will make petals. I'll show you how to make them. Okay, we're at the last place. Um, we made our last stitch. I make. I will close uh, the row, uh, the row, the round uh, with the slip stitch, and I'm done. So we're done with uh, decorating and crocheting this area right in here. So this is very important. Uh, when you crochet over the packing cord, always remember a few things. They are very important to remember. Uh, when you um, crochet, I'm moving the camera just for you that you could see what I'm doing because it's I'm noticing that I'm off sometimes. So very important to go back and look on the back side and pull on a cord. If you on a circle and your circle became kind of tight and uh, crawling this direction, right? All you have to do is to stretch it like that and it will become, uh, it will be the, uh, have the form and the shape you want. Now, let's look at the pattern for a moment. I know that you cannot see it and I don't want to um, adjust many times my video simply because um, then later you will not see what I'm crocheting. So um, you try to follow me here. We right now over here, we finish our crocheting over the packing cord. Here's that line. We finished here and we will crochet again over the packing cord. Here it is. And here's a little arrow that shows us the direction which way we have to go. We will crochet this direction. Over the packing cord, 15 single crochet stitches. After that we will turn, crochet 5 half double crochet stitches, then 4 double crochet stitches and 3 half double crochet stitches. Then again over the packing cord, 1 single crochet, attach the cord to the previous row right in here and again 15 uh, I'm sorry 9 single crochet stitches over the packing cord and we will adjust there is a little broken line to attach to the leaf that we had before to the previous leaf with slip stitch and then continue crochet 6 more single crochet stitches over the packing cord then make two, uh, I'm sorry, uh, turn the leaf, turn your work and crochet five half double crochet, four double crochet, three half double crochet. Connect over the packing cord the leaf to the previous round. Every time you uh, 
um, attach the leaf and the packing cord over here to the circle you skip first time you skip one single crochet then you skip two and attach the leaf to the third stitch skip two attach to the third and this way uh, you do this only over this part right over here then you do it one two two times two to three times and then you skip again skip one and crochet attach the packing cord to the next one skip one and so on so this will continue all the time I believe um, here's two skipped two I think the best thing to judge I wouldn't follow exactly uh, the pattern uh, because you will see how you all of us are different you can take the same pattern and put in a room 10 women to crochet and all your fern leaves will turn out a little bit different they will have difference in them everything depends on how loose you uh, crochet or how tight you crochet and how precise you are and how f how much you feel your work and what I'm saying uh, how my how many uh, stitches to skip it all depends on few things what kind of curve you received some women will crochet the same thing and and their curve will be like that some women will crochet and it will be like this Okay, so you will have to judge on your own how many stitches to skip and where to attach your leaf. So let's start a few of them and then you will finish crocheting those leaves, little petals, all the way to the very end right here, to that tip where we have uh, tail begin. So we're not crocheting petals over this tail, it will be like it, like this by itself we finishing our leaves right in here this is where we will attach our last leaf or petal okay so we came to this place we will just crochet the last stitch of our row right here and now we can even turn our work if you want now crochet 15 single crochet stitches over the packing cord 15 15 okay after you're done stretch the last stitch and check if your stitches are tied together I am a little bit loose in here at the very beginning so I will move my stitches make them a little bit tighter even I crochet tight sometimes few stitches misbehave and they don't look right so here we have first uh, edge of the leaf now we turn our work and still crocheting over the cord, over the packing cord. And again, this time you can uh, crochet; it will be easier into the both under the both loops. First is five half double crochet stitches. one two three four and 
and five. Five half double crochet stitches. I will stop for a moment, if I were you, always to look for the tip. You don't want to see in your work uh, your packing cord. So holding this tight, those stitches that you just made, uh, pick up a, each thread of the packing cord and pull a little bit on and see if uh, the tip disappear, the, the packing cord disappear. You shouldn't see it, you don't have to show it. So pull on it slightly, not very hard, very slowly. And now continue to crochet. This time we crochet four double crochet stitches. So yarn over, go into the stitch, double crochet one, two, three, and four, four double crochet stitches. And the last stitches I actually can make a little bit more, I don't know why they um, have four double crochet, I still have a lot of room here left, so I guess it's five. Five double crochet, and then the last finish with half double crochet stitches. Half double crochet, again half double crochet, And remember what I told you before, we have to skip here and attach the packing cord only. Crochet over the packing cord only, not anymore in here. Skip one and crochet into next stitch and over the packing cord. And you see when I did this, this sleeve kind of automatically uh, stood up and um, it's in the right place now. And you can make single crochet stitch right here. From now on we turn and work again back this direction and crochet nine single crochet stitches. Two, three, four, oops, five, six, seven, eight, nine. When you come to the ninth uh, stitch, you have to attach your this leaf right in here, this to this area and continue crochet six more single crochet stitches. So you kind of connect leaves one just once you connect to the leaf you have the little opening in here and continue this time crochet five more stitches so nine right here over the cord and here or you can put ninth stitch over here does not matter and uh, five more together will be 15 one two three four five okay so remember crochet nine single crochet stitches over the cord, attach cord and makes with a single crochet stitch to the previous leaf and five more stitches. Total will be 15. Now turn your work again. Now 
in this direction and crochet as before have double crochet stitches one two three four five don't forget you crochet over the packing cord all the time all the leaves in both direction one way and another one again um, four double crochet one two three four I'll make five because I have extra stitch here so don't worry if you have extra stitch okay have double crochet uh, double crochet and have three have double crochet continue over the packing cord one have double crochet two three and now again we come into the area we will attach the leaf to the area right over here skip two skip two stitches even uh, how do you know and determine how many to skip when you lay the uh, leaf like that to the round area it by itself laying over the third stitch right here so it makes sense to skip one two stitches and crochet in here insert the hook into the third stitch and crochet over the packing cord single crochet stitch like this we have four leaves right now now again turn your work and crochet nine stitches single crochet stitches over the packing cord only one two three four five six seven eight nine okay attach after that this cord this cord to the previous leaf like that right where the double crochet stitches are where they begin under both loops over the packing cord single crochet stitch and five more single crochet stitches only over the cord one two three four five i finished here and now turn your work and we will make again leaf have double crochet five five have, uh, have double crochet stitches into the previous row over the packing cord one two three three four five and now four have double uh, four double crochet stitches continue the body of the leaf so 
so it will be one double crochet one two Four. I think it's a mistake in a pattern because I have extra stitch so let's make f instead of five double crochet f uh, four we will make five because this is what um, going on five half double crochet five double crochet and the last one two three stitches will be half double crochet stitches half double crochet stitches one two three okay um, you see the form kind of disfigured here so pull on the thread just a little bit on a pecking cord and again skip two and crochet over the pecking cord connect to the round here it is and then again we'll turn your work and you will continue crocheting one two three four five six seven eight nine connect to the previous leaf where the double crochet where this area right here right you can see just jumping up a little bit so connect to the leaf with the packing cord and five more one two three four five okay now turn your work again five half double crochet stitches into the leaf one and over the pecking cord two three four five now half double crochet uh, is done now double crochet five times one two three four five and three more have double crochet stitches continue over the packing cord one two and three okay um, I always adjust a little bit make a shape right and connect to the previous round row this leaf this time my leaf you can already see you can skip one and attach to the next one just skip one and attach to the next stitch your packing cord right in here you see what I did right here's the packing cord and here it is so I will stop over here because everything else is done exactly the same way you have enough thread here if you cut, uh, cut exact amount I told you you can continue crochet this kind of leaf 
uh, leaflets or petals of the fern leaf all around this area until this little tip right here. So this is where you stop your leaves, your crochet. Cut the thread and finish and you will have a beautiful fern leaf. So remember that everything is the same way. Each leaflet, each little leaf crocheted exactly the same way. You will crochet over the packing cord 15 stitches, turn your work, crochet 5 half double crochet again over the packing cord, then 5 double crochet stitches, 3 half double crochet stitches, then attach uh, to the previous row the packing cord, and then over the packing cord 9 stitches, connect to the leaf, the previous leaf, 5 stitches, turn your work and over the packing cord 5 half double crochet, 5 double crochet, 3 half double crochet stitches, connect the cord to the previous row and again turn your work 9 single crochet stitches over the cord, connect cord to the previous leaf with single crochet stitch, over the cord only 5 single crochet stitches, turn your work and again crochet over the packing cord 5 half double crochet stitches, 5 double crochet stitches, 3 half double crochet stitches, connect to the, the packing cord to the round to the uh, previous row and repeat this way all little petals all the way until you reach this area right here and this is the last leaf uh, that you will crochet in here. 